so today man i got a special video for y'all i'm gonna show y'all how to self taper your jeans how to self taper your jeans by yourself you know what i'm saying if you ever wonder how to you know what i'm saying you got some bigger pants that you probably bought or whatever you know what i'm saying i'm gonna show you today how to make them skinny you know what i'm saying turning some baggy jeans into some skinny jeans so that's what we're gonna do today man if you like the video man make sure you like comment subscribe and yeah once we get into everything i'm gonna come back on the camera so in order for you to complete this process you know what i'm saying you're gonna need a few items you know what i'm saying the most important one that you definitely gonna need in order to do this is your sewing machine you know what i'm saying so i got my sewing machine right here it did i don't know if y'all can really see it but yeah it's a little bit old but i got the sewing machine right here too I'm gonna push it to the side, then I'm gonna show y'all what else y'all gonna need. Second, you're gonna need you some thread. I'm not using pink thread, of course, because you. We'll see in a minute, but I'm not using this pink thread, it's just some thread. So, boom. Then the next item, marker. You're gonna need a marker to trace it out or whatever. You're gonna need this. Then, can't forget, you're gonna need some scissors too. So you can cut the thread off once you're done sewing it up. You know what I'm saying? And then the other important part that you're gonna need is the jeans. You're gonna need the two jeans right here. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna need two pair of jeans. These the ones, that's, these are the skinny, well, these are the old ones right here. You know what I'm saying? The ones that's not so skinny. And then you got the skinny ones. You, you're gonna make these like these. So yeah, once we in the process, I'm gonna come back on the camera and show y'all everything. What's good, y'all, man? So this is my first voiceover, so do not get on me. but. What you don't want to do is have the jeans right side up at all. Do not have them right side up. What you're going to need to do is flip them inside out, as you can see that I'm doing right now. Always have them inside out. Always. And make sure that you're on a flat surface. As you can see, I'm, I got the table right there. Make sure it's flat, you know what I'm saying, so you can be able to do what you need to do. So, boom. I'm going to catch you guys on the next step. So, this next step, all I'm really doing is just straighten the pants out, you know what I'm saying? Make sure there no creases, no nothing in them. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you straighten them out. You don't want no bunched up jeans, do you? But yeah, uh, I'm just going to straighten them out. And that's what I'm doing right now. So look, I know y'all see me, man. I'm straightening out the jeans to perfection. I'm getting every crease up. But yeah, that's what you need to do. So that's that part. So I'm going to get back with y'all. So what you want to do now is get the skinny jeans and put them on top of the jeans that you're trying to make skinny. So that's what y'all see me doing right now. I'm just making sure I'm straightening out the skinny jeans and make sure I'm putting them on top. Make sure you align them correctly so when you're tracing it, it won't look kind of cricket. So in a few minutes, y'all going to see me uh, kind of tracing it out where I'm trying to cut, the, not cut it, but like straighten it up, if you know what I mean. So now that I got both of the jeans perfectly aligned, they're smoothed out, no wrinkles or nothing, you need to get the trace in them. You need to trace from like the waist area all the way down to the ankle. Make sure that it's straight. It don't got to be perfect, you know what I'm saying? It don't got to be perfect, but make sure it's kind of straight and neat and trace it all the way down. Follow like the the angle of the jeans that's already on top. So you're going to do that all the way down. And yeah, that's how, as you can see, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking my precious time, make sure everything is right. And, and yeah, make sure you do both sides. Get all the way down. Do not leave no type of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Always go back and check and make sure that your line's kind of straight and it's aligned with the top pair of jeans that's on top and go ahead as you can see just do the other side as well and that's all you have to do long because i did kind of mess up a little bit so that's all i'm really doing just make sure you trace it out nice and even i know i don't said it a million times but you really got to make sure that it's, it's nice and even because when you sewing and you following that line it's going to be messed up and your jeans not going to look right they're going to look trash but yeah that's all i'm doing for right now and once i'm in the full process i'm gonna get to showing y'all everything so right now, all I'm doing is fixing the needle, making this right, and I'm putting my jeans on there. That's all I'm doing. So as y'all can see, when I first started sewing, I do start off slow. Like, I start off super slow. But then as time go on, I do pick it up a little bit. But yeah, man, y'all enjoy.
As y'all can see right here, that I'm on the line. What you need to do is make sure that you're always on the line because it's going to help your stitching stay flow and stay even. But other than that, let's get back to it. conclude the video man know what i'm saying if you learn anything man make sure you like comment subscribe man you know what i'm saying if you learn something like the video it's free you know what i'm saying but yeah man i basically just showed y'all how to self taper your jeans at home at home man so you know what i'm saying make sure you like the video for that but yeah man that's gonna conclude the video so if you like the video man make sure you like comment subscribe and lb mafia we gone man